Today I'm going to be talking about seasoning your corset or not seasoning your corset as the case may be. Now I've been in the corset corsetry industry for nearly 25 years now and um, I only found out about seasoning in the last 10 years and there, there is a bit of a running joke between corseteers who've been around for a long time um, who who are like, well, seasoning, that's for your food, isn't it? You don't season your course, you season your food. And actually, if you go to a great restaurant, then you shouldn't have to season your food because the chef will have already seasoned it and it should be ready to go. And that's, that's what, where we're trying to get to with, with courses. If you have a good fitting corset from the start, which it should be, you shouldn't need to season it. It should be, it should be good to go from the start. The reason I'm not a member of any corset groups on Facebook is because there are so many people posting images of themselves in a new corset they've purchased and it's either there's a huge gap at the back or there's, you know, it's, it's gaping hugely at the hip and the rib and people, they're asking, you know, is, does it fit? And everyone's like, yeah, when it's seasoned, it'll be fine. And it's like, no, 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 it will not be fine when it's seasoned. And I remember a few years ago, the the corsetier Fakir Mustafa, he was a member of a group for, for a while and he was great fun. And he, you just get a caustic comment, a caustic comment like, it's too small or it's too big. Whereas everyone else was like, hey girl, you look great. It's, it'll be fine when it's seasoned. No, no, it won't be fine. So at what Katie did, when you buy a corset from us, we make a variety of different shapes. For example, we have our Zeta, which is designed for a more androgynous figure and is cut very close to the rib and it's cut very close to the hip. So although the hip size might be similar to that of our Morticia, if you look at the photographs, you'll see that for the Zeta, the hip actually goes straight down. So, so for me, I've got more of an hourglass figure and because of course it finishes mid hip, my, my hip and my thigh keep going out underneath the bottom of the corset. Whereas with the Zeta, the Zeta is more of a box shape. So it goes straight down underneath. And you, we do put the measurements for our corsets and I'll, I'll put them up here to show you where to find them. We do put the measurements for our mid hip, our waist, and also the length of the corsets under each product description. So you, you can compare with your own measurements and try and work out which one is best for you. If you have any questions after taking your measurements, please get in touch and we'll be able to give you a second opinion. Currently, we have four different styles of corsets and we do a standard version and an extreme version. And the extreme version is basically a curvier style of the standard version. We have the Zeta, which I've mentioned before, which is for a more androgynous figure. Then we have the Luna, which is a shorter version so you don't have to worry so much about the rib and the hip with that one because it's shorter and it fits all kinds of body types. We have our Morticia which is one of our most famous styles and this has more room on the rib and it flares out more on the hip and we've just launched our new vamp and this is a super curvy style so it's it's, it's slightly bigger hips and it fits closer to the rib than our Morticia. So you need to have a look at the measurements and try and work out which one suits you the best. We shot our model Sugar Rush in our new vamp corset and it looks absolutely amazing and it fits like a glove. And this came straight out of the box. It's the standard size 20. It wasn't made for her. She hadn't tried it before the shoot. Obviously we've worked, well I've worked with her before and I know her figure type and I know she looks amazing in corsets. But until you put it on, you really don't know if it's gonna be 100% right. And with her, this was, this just looked absolutely amazing on her. If you were to put on a corset like this and look, look as good as Sugar Rush, then you need to ask yourself what your aims are. Now, if you're gonna wear your corset a few times a month to go out for special occasions or under a certain outfit, then, then this would be perfect for you because it already looks amazing and it fits well and it feels comfortable. If you were going to waist train in it, you wouldn't have a huge amount of room to pull the corset in. You could pull it in a couple of inches so you, once you got used to it, you could pull it in a couple of inches and get a slightly more dramatic shape. By pulling it in a couple of inches, you're not going to affect the rib or hip very much at all. So you don't have to worry about 
bulging out the top or the bottom so you do have you do have some way some leeway in making it tighter the only the only way i'd go smaller than this would be if you uh, were a larger person which means you're going to squish more easily than than sugar who's wearing a size 20 and in that case i might consider going down a size but i wouldn't go down any smaller than that really this is a perfect fit on her she has she has the room to make it slightly smaller or slightly bigger and it's perfect for if you're going to be wearing a corset a few times a month or a couple of times a week even it, it just looks amazing on her if we take a look at her in the extreme corset if you look very closely you'll be able to see that it's gaping very very slightly on the rib and this is because um, we haven't been able to get the waist small enough her waist is resisting so this is where waist training comes into play now if she was looking at waist training and wearing a corset every day then i'd suggest going for this corset because after a few weeks after her body had adapted she'd be able to pull it in more and the corset would soften and the the, the slight gap on the rib cage would pull in if she was looking at wearing it as a fashion corset just on occasion then I'd say stick with a standard style so really you'd only be looking at getting away with a gap like this on the rib cage if you were looking at waist training on a daily basis this is why I don't believe in seasoning because we are the seasoning really is the icing on a cake on the corset the, the, the cake is the actual corset and the cake has to be as good as you can get it before you even worry about the icing so so when you look at sugar rush in the extreme um the extreme vamp then you'll be thinking well that that looks fine already it is literally that that little five percent which is where the seasoning or breaking in comes into play it's where the course it softens a little it molds slightly to your body and you get used to it and your body gets used to it and you can just make that tiny bit of amendments other corsetiers often say that you need to try on your corset loosely now with us the opposite is true we want you to try it on tightly so with sugar rush with our vamp that's we put it on straight we put it on tight and for shooting it she's in it for like 20 minutes and if you came to our boutique you'd try it on we'd let you sit down and make sure you can bend over and move around in it and it was comfortable after 10 minutes but we wouldn't expect you to be wearing it eight hours a day like that when you buy, purchase a corset you need to try it on at home and look at it closely try it on tightly and see if you are happy with a fit now when you try it on at home or in a changing room or, or for a shoot you will lace it tightly but we wouldn't expect you to wear it that tightly all day from day one so breaking in your corset or seasoning it's not really about the corset it's about you so once you've tried it on and you're happy with the fit and you tried it on tightly and you're happy that it's not got any major gaping or the gaps fine at the back then when you actually start wearing it you'll wear it looser corset should be comfortable and when you wear a new corset they do take a bit of breaking in and they do need a bit of softening up and if your body's not used to it you will have to build up gradually and this is this is what we call breaking in it's not about seasoning the corset really it's about seasoning seasoning you because you're the important part of it so once you've tried it on tightly then the first few times you wear it you will be wearing it more loosely and the the worst thing you can do is try it on a, in a change room tie it on try it on super tight wear it under a dress that fits like a glove and not being able to loosen it because the first few times you need to wear it or even the first couple of months of your waist training you do need to have access to be able to loosen your corset if you have to for example if you're sitting for a long time if you're traveling if you're eating there might be a time where you feel uncomfortable and you need to loosen it quite quickly so it's about getting used to your body in a corset it's not about seasoning the corset it's about seasoning yourself and adjusting to how a corset it feels if you have any questions about breaking in your corset or have any queries please let me know below and I'll get back to you so take care